I must say that I am very thankful for this opportunity to give my paper uh, in, a, in the most beautiful town in Poland and in the very, very nice University of John Paul II. Mm -hmm. Now, I would like to say something about uh, logical analysis of uh, empirical expressions. Good. And uh, as a bonus, what is wrong with uh, Kleinian empiricism? Well, I begin with a very uh, practical question, which is very, very actual in our country, but not only in our country, that learning mathematics and uh, or kind of logic and physics is more difficult than learning empirical sciences. And we can ask why. Uh, there are many reasons, but I will say one of them. You see, mathematics and logic use abstract concepts. Uh, empirical sciences use also abstract concepts, but they can, uh, so <laughs> I would say that uh, there is some illusion with uh, learning and teaching that their expressions seem to concern concrete objects. So we should uh, uh, explain abstract versus concrete. This has a very good tradition, uh, Bolzano, in his Wissenschaftslehre. Uh, he says that uh, when we take some real sentence, real, it means a sentence uh, which is uh, written or so, uh, and when we, uh, when we uh, abstract from the way it's, uh, whether it's, it's uh, written or, or taught or something other, we get that's uh, an sich. I don't know how to translate it to English because that's an sich sentence. Uh, I would say sentence as such or something like that, not sentence about its about its. About its no. So uh, and uh, this ab uh, abstraction in Bolzano. Uh, is, uh, concerns not only sentences but also the non-sentential parts, and there one of this of this abst abstract uh, ab abstract uh, Vorstellungen yeah, is a concept, begriff, yeah. and uh, the contemporary philosopher and uh, and uh, logician is. Uh, intuitionist uh, Fletcher, Peter Fletcher, speaks about creating an object uh, without the disregarded properties so that we get a concept, uh, very, very exact concepts, and uh, what he calls empirical concept is something uh, which, is, uh, uh, which has some borderline cases and it's more to say it's an intuition. Yeah. So learning uh, mathematics, uh, we get this uh, notion of imagining because uh, learning mathematics, we, we are not able to imagine the objects. Uh, some, uh, sometimes we can read some uh, remedy of this situation. So we should suppress this lear in learning and teaching the abstract factor by graphic means, visualization, and so on. And I would say that this is a very bad remedy. And Fletcher himself, he says, philosophers would be better, uh, um, uh, uh, yeah, would be better employed putting abstraction idealization uh, and on a firm, for, for, yeah, for on a firm foundation, yeah, and then trying to do without them. Pupils get an illusion. If I can imagine a concrete object, A, then I understand abstract concepts concerning A. 
Understanding biological concept, it's easy because I can imagine cats, spiders, and so on. And even I can imagine, say, mass, velocity, and so on. Really? I would say that it's, it's false. Now, abstract objects are invisible. They are, bit, uh, they are mirrors of necessity. This is very important. Yeah? Uh, our, uh, no, knowledge, no knowledge is possible without abstract objects. Explications always introduce some abstract objects. I will return to this point. Uh, compare the communication between uh, scientists in uh, Gulliver's Travels in Laputa. Yeah? There, these scientists have all, always some bag with concrete objects, and the communication consists in taking this bag and, uh, and taking these uh, particular objects, and this is communication. Yeah? Language distinguishes between abstract and concrete. This can be shown by logical analysis of natural language, partic particularly by transparent intentional logic, TIL. In Tichy's uh, TIL, or uh, our book in uh, Spring, Springer uh, in 2010, uh, has some, uh, some uh, I would say, fundamental uh, or essential information about this method. Philosophical, it is uh, a Platonism, say, but Tichy. Uh, uh, makes Platonism, uh, he says that the view, that Platonism is the view that over and above material objects, there are also functions, true values, and thoughts. Yeah? So it's something like, like his, uh, his uh, conception of Platonism. Yeah? A critical analysis appreciating especially Frege's idea of inserting sense between the expression and its denotation is what uh, Tichy appreciates in, in uh, Frege. Explication in, in, uh, of sense or meaning. The way to the explication begins by Tichy's early intuitions in 68. Yeah. Senses or meanings uh, are procedures. Consider as tr uh, some true mathematical equality. Say this, uh, this equality between m, uh, m, uh, yes, uh, m times uh, this sum of x and y, and it's equal, equal uh, uh, sum of, of uh, m times x and m i where y. So that uh, the left hand side equals the, uh, the right hand side uh, why, uh, due to valuations, every valuation. So let the left side be some A for the valuation phi. The, the right side is A as uh, when this valuation the same, yeah, also. So the characteristic function phi uh, and uh, on the left side equals the characteristic function psi of the right side. So if we have uh, this uh, for every x, uh, what holds is uh, this equality phi, uh, phi r is uh, the same as psi r. Functions are, however, set theoretical entities. They are mappings. Yeah? And uh, they uh, obey this uh, principle of extensionality. It's very, very well known, yes. So we never get uh, oh, uh, more than one function as mapping yeah, when we analyze uh, one and the same object. Fregean sense uh, do not uh, obey this uh, principle. There can be, they can be uh, there can be more than one sense, in a Fregean sense, 
yielding the same, same object. It means that, uh, that uh, this uh, principle of extensionality it doesn't hold for, for uh, senses. Therefore, senses cannot be such theoretical objects, entities. Indeed, uh, the above equality, equality uh, do not mean that the way we have get, got the left side is the same as the way we have got the right side. The sense doesn't obey this extensional principle. Now, we can uh, return to the question what the sense is. According to TIL, it holds the following. As soon as we say with Tichy that the theoretical construction, a concept, conception of uh, functions uh, as, me, as a mere mapping, yeah, it uh, means that uh, we explain sense as uh, some set, set theoretical function, but procedures do not, uh, do not obey this principle, and uh, the, pr the procedures do what we expect, what we want to have. So if you return to this equality, we can say the following thing. Using such theoretical functions, we have uh, seen that the left side and the right side equal as for the value pr pr produced by both functions. Imagine, however, uh, what procedure has created the function phi and what procedure has created the functions psi. We uh, surely know that this equality cannot be uh, inter interpreted as uh, the claim that phi equals psi. The procedures which have created phi consist, uh, the procedure consists of steps, of particular steps yeah, uh, that uh, offer this, uh, this uh, uh, differ yeah, from uh, the steps which are, which, uh, which, uh, which are uh, characteristic for the psi function. Yeah. Application at the procedures to of the procedure of the sum differs from application of sum to product, products. There, there is uh, no no analogy of uh, of principle of ex principle uh, of extension that would hold for procedures. We can make some some uh, experiment. Uh, Analogy for of this uh, principle of, ex uh, of this extension for procedure would be something like like the following: uh, take a procedure one uh, applied to some object C, that and if uh, 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 say that procedure two applied to the same object should be equal, but. It doesn't follow that this procedure one equals the procedure two. Uh, <coughs> whereas functions as uh, obeying this principle are simple objects, procedures are complex. Okay. It means that they can be defined in particular decomposed and particular procedure differ from by possessing distinct decompositions. So until we have the senses of an expression E, it's always uh, a, a sense is a procedure, and uh, procedures are in TIL uh, defined as constructions. So constructions are defined uh, uh, in TIL as a, uh, in, a, in a type theoretical setting. So we should say something, uh, some brief information about this types in TIL yeah, and about constructions. Only very briefly, yes. So we have uh, first order types uh, as a Omicron, this means that this set of two, two truth values. So it's a, uh, TIL is a no, no, no uh, logic which should be, uh, which should be uh, many valued. Yeah. Second, Iota is a universe of individuals. Tau is uh, real numbers, but it, it can play the role of time moments. 
and omega as possible words. And functional types as, uh, as alpha, alpha, beta 1, 2, beta n, is a collection of partial functions with uh, values in alpha and uh, arguments in beta 1, k, beta n. Some, uh, I would say that some examples would be useful. So that, for instance, omicron i is a function from iota, from universe, to truth value. So it's the type of uh, classes of, of individuals. Uh, omicron tau is a, a, is, is a class of, uh, is a set of a uh, class of, uh, say, real numbers or of time moments. Yeah? and so on. On tau, 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 this is the, the, the type of uh, arithmetical operations, like adding and so on. And uh, on the other hand, we, we have uh, uh, this possible word semantics, uh, intentions. Intentions, in this sense, uh, are, can, are always some functions from possible words. Therefore, there is this omega, yeah, to mostly a function from tau, from time moments, to some type. So that omicron tau omega is something which, which would be, uh, uh, or omicron iota is, is even better. Omicron iota tau omega is a type of a property, property of individuals. Yeah? Because in the function from omega from possible words to times tau to uh, class of, of uh, individuals. It means in the given, given uh, possible world and time, uh, we have some class in of individuals which, are, which have this property in that, in that uh, possible world. Or omicron, uh, uh, omicron tau omega, it's a proposition. It's having every pair to of possible world and, uh, and time moments, it uh, ascribes a, a truth value. And uh, we, we, can, we can have this, this, uh, uh, these examples um, still further. We have some, uh, some uh, abbreviation of this uh, uh, type of intentions. Therefore, there this tau omega is uh, like an index. Yeah? It's not important. Yeah. As for constructions, uh, we have variables which construct uh, dependently of on valuation. And uh, these uh, letters, well known as x, y, p, and r, and so on, are only uh, names of, of uh, variables. So the variables are also abstract a kind of abstract construction. Trivialization of something uh, is a very important uh, construction, which makes only one, one thing, that it constructs the uh, object x and let it be, yeah, without any change. Yeah. Uh, execution, double execution, we were not, not uh, need them for our problems. And closure, which uh, is a, uh, in Montague, for instance, it's abstraction, yeah, which uh, creates a function always. And composition, which cre uh, application, yeah, which creates a value of a function on the arguments. Yeah. Higher order types, it's uh, in a ramified hierarchy. Uh, begin with uh, with uh, this uh, this asterisk types. Yeah? Um, it's a class of constructions of order one, and so we have constructions of order two and so on, and they are always types of constructions. This uh, this simple types order one are always. Uh, types of something which is not a construction. So that uh, we have this ramified, ramified hierarchy, and we can uh, compare empirical, non-empirical expressions 
according, uh, of, uh, according to what they denote. Uh, we say that uh, denotation is uh, given as uh, something uh, as uh, what is the result what is the result of applying sense yeah, to we are expression yeah, sense and the sense uh, means that the result of the sense is just this denotation so that we have the expression the smallest prime we get as a denotation number two. Yeah? Two is a prime, this is a, um, this a denotation is truth value, truth. Yeah? Uh, the third power of two is the, the number eight. Uh, the greatest prime, we do get nothing, of course. Senses are constructions that are results of logical analysis. Yeah? Now, uh, empirical expressions denote always some intentions, always. So that if you have the expression horse or horses, yeah, you get the property of being a horse. Yeah? The type is there. Var Warsaw is the capital of Poland. We get not the, uh, not the um, denotation truth value, but a proposition only. Proposition. It, it could be in other ways. Yeah? It rains in Prague, it's a, or again, a proposition, not a truth value. Uh, the man who is taller than Eiffel Tower uh, indicates uh, or denotes an individual role. It means it's an individual, uh, it's a function from possible worlds and times to the universe of individuals. Yeah? And uh, yes, yeah, senses are uh, constructions that uh, result in if, from this uh, logical analysis. Yes. This is the world of, 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 of uh, empirical. Now, the notation of an expression E, if any, is what is constructed by the sense of E. So, uh, if you try to, to get this uh, notion of denotation, and um, if you don't have such a theory, so you get some very, very uh, folk, how to say, folk uh, intuitions that this is something what is, what is, uh, what is um, say, given by this expression. Yeah, that's all. Uh, but this is a definition which is very, very uh, direct. Some non-empirical expressions denote nothing, yet they have a sense. Yeah. So, for, for instance, uh, this, uh, the, the greatest, uh, the greatest uh, prime is uh, an expression, therefore it has a sense. Every expression has a sense. But uh, it's nothing which is constructed by, by this contraction, of course. Now, Every empirical expression denotes something, an intention. This closure, this contraction closure, is a never, uh, is a never uh, uh, something which would not denote. Yeah? It's always a function, and it's a function from possible words. Yeah? So that uh, if I say the man, the man who is uh, taller than Eiffel, Eiffel Tower, it denotes something, of course. It denotes uh, such a function. Yeah? It uh, denotes uh, such a function, such an individual role. Yeah? This is denotation, not some individual. Uh, no concrete object can be denotation of an empirical expression. This is important, but it uh, follows from the definition of, uh, of the type of empirical expression, because it's always some function. Yeah? And functions are not concrete objects. Yeah? So that uh, uh, we get uh, using, uh, using empirical expressions, we never get some, as a result, a concrete object, of course. Yeah? Now, uh, we come to some very important point. Yeah.
Yeah. Denotation of an expression uh, is what is contracted, we have said. Now, um, uh, the link expression, sense, denotation, as well as the uh, expression, denotation, this link is always necessary. It can be, can be uh, uh, computed. Yeah? Uh, but uh, we have to distinguish between denotation and reference yeah? in the empirical case. So that Reference is an empirical expression, E, if any, is the value of the denotation of E in the actual world. Therefore, and from the fact that we can never know which uh, of the possible worlds is the actual world, so it follows that uh, the line expression, link, expression, reference is contingent. So every empirical expression denotes something, but uh, what is often missing is uh, just a reference. So this, this uh, man which you, who is uh, taller than, than Eiffel Tower is something uh, which is without a reference, of course, but not without a denotation. Yeah? A very good example is the example of the interpretation of the famous uh, Freges example, Morgenstern, Abenstein. Because Venus is not a denotation of morning star sign or evening star, as a Frege thought. So it is just a contingent reference, not some, something uh, which would be de de derivable from the sense. We can, uh, we can say that uh, the fact that, uh, the, that, the Venus, that Venus is uh, something which is uh, Abenstein and Morgenstern. This is something which was uh, not uh, computed by logicians, but was something which was uh, observed by astronomers, by an empiricist. So that uh, this interpretation that Venus is the notation of Abenstein and, and uh, uh, Morgenstern is an uh, uh, interpretation which is uh, very, very frequently uh, offered as a something which is a good interpretation of, of Frege. But it's a wrong interpretation. Uh, so that if uh, some uh, result which, uh, which, has, uh, which, has I, or which I have, have uh, offered, have some uh, results, uh, so a good example, which uh, uh, this reference and denotation uh, can be given by the fact that George Beeler doesn't like that we speak about the such phenomena as Kaffee Erma as if it were a function from world and times. Yes, it is a property, of course. Whereas nobody will say that we smell a function. We answer to this objection as follows. Naturally claiming that the type of coffee aroma and so on is, a, is a, a, the type as a property of individuals and that uh, uh, such entities are functions from possible worlds and times to classes of individuals, we do not say that such entities are mappings in the set theoretical sense. The object denoted or expressed are not the original intuitions, but their surrogates introduced by a, by a system of explications. And now this is the place of, uh, uh, of uh, the notion of explication. It's uh, a notion which, is, which has been, uh, which has been uh, introduced by Carnap, for instance, in his Meaning and Necessity. And uh, Tichy has characterized the notion of explication uh, in uh, yeah, in his, uh, it was uh, in his uh, book, as follows, uh, the quotation, yeah? the purpose of theoretic explication is to represent intuitions in terms of rigorously defined entities. It is to Frege that we owe, that we owe the, the, the insight that the mathematical notion of function is a universal 
in medium of explication, not just in mathematics, but in general. To explicate a system of intuitions, of intuitive uh, notions, pre theoretic notions, is to su assign to them as surrogates members of the functional hierarchy over a defined, uh, a defined objectual basis. So that the relation between the intuitive notion uh, are then represented, these relations are represented here by the mathematical rigorous uh, objects uh, relation on relationships between uh, functions, these uh, uh, surrogates. So that uh, we can always say that uh, these uh, functions are uh, functions which, uh, which uh, concern uh, these uh, relations between, between, between these surrogates, not between this, these uh, original intuitions. So that Beerus uh, was answered was very, very good. Normal, the normal development on logical analysis has been harshly interrupted by Quine. Uh, uh, at, yeah, I, I think that it was in uh, 53, yes. Uh, Quine criticizes the attempts to define sense in terms of analyticity, synonymy, and so on. But what is interesting is that Tichy criticized these attempts as well. But the essential distinct, this is, uh, the, the, the distinct relation of the two criticisms have led to incompatible uh, consequences. Tichy began to create procedural theories, theory of some of sense, of meaning. Yeah? Whereas for Quine, the so-called theory of meaning reduced to uh, some solving some linguistic problems with synonymy and analyticity, and now quotation, mean, meaning themselves as obscure uh, in the, uh, as obscure intermediary entities may will well be abandoned. Yeah? So we, we see that this is some, something which leads from semantics to pragmatics. Yeah? Uh, this uh, was very successful, this fine criticism, uh, but uh, it was because this logical community and some philosophers was uh, not uh, not uh, was partly weak and partly uh, uncritical. So that we can say that uh, by uh, this uh, criticism, Klein uh, sends us a very clear message. Don't do semantics. Yeah? We must do pragmatics, uh, which will so solve uh, every problem which we wanted to solve uh, on the basis of semantics. Uh, it would it would be very good uh, when to when, when we interpret it as a saying that it is not sufficient to uh, ma to make uh, something uh, by means of semantics. We must do also a pragmatic uh, analysis. It's okay, but it's not what what Klein taught, yeah? because uh, Klein. Klein wanted something other, uh, that the, uh, the semantic analysis, especially logical analysis, uh, is a, a blind LD. And uh, uh, instead of offering some uh, other solutions of Carnap's attempts, for instance, um, Aldo Church, yeah, uh, he proposes to lead this, uh, this pr left leave these problems and to lease uh, leave uh, Len Lennel with, with this logic analysis uh, and to, back, uh, to begin to build us, uh, to build us uh, essentially empirical system of pragmatics, which is essentially pragmatics. Uh, we will show now some, uh, some, uh, some consequences of this, of this uh, uh, Klein's revolution. Yeah? But uh, we, ca we can do it because we can, uh, in, in PIL, we have shown that these uh, this, uh, uh, problems which began, for instance, Carnap began to, to uh, solve 
and which was which were uh, which were left by Klein that these problems can be uh, can be solved by semantics. You know? So uh, my, my final finally uh, yes I will say only some four uh, some four um, consequences of Klein and. Uh, this will be the end of my paper. It's, 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 very, it's been very long, I see. So only f four points. Eh? First, Klein's changing topic. Uh, uh, I mean, it, uh, what he wanted to do. Eh? Uh, lost logical necessity. But some kind of necessity should have maintained the illusion that, uh, what, that we, we, what we do according to Klein, the all the same is some kind of logic. So the normative necessity began to play this role. Uh, this means that, and it is very, very absurd, yeah, because it means that the valid rules are for formulas. Formulas valid because uh, not uh, it's so that they have been chosen as valid because they are, for instance, necessary. However, but that it's uh, the other way around. Yes, They're, they were chosen as necessary because they were norms. I would say. That it's very absurd, of course. Second, uh, this uh, distinction between analytic and synthetic has been uh, relativized. Uh, numeric, uh, yes, uh, numerous instances of Klein, Klein's popular, uh, uh, popular argument met. Uh, Agreement, yeah, very, very collective agreement uh, among between philosophers and logicians said that Klein uh, has discovered that this uh, this distinction, analytic and synthetic, can uh, be always relativized, and that it's not not so some some uh, hard and fast line between these two notions. So the success of this uh, critic uh, means that no, nobody has uh, no, nobody recognized that this uh, sin this uh, distinction is of course hard and fast because it it concerns not uh, this uh, analyticity or synthetic,ity uh, among uh, intuitions, but among the uh, among this. Uh, this uh, results of this uh, explication. So th this is something which we, which we explained uh, in an answering this Beeler's critique. Yeah? So that uh, it can be proved that analytic and synthetic is uh, very exactly disting disting uh, distinguished. Uh, and it, uh, this seeming that it's not so, is only because uh, we forgot th that it holds only uh, between uh, just surrogates, surrogates of the original intuitions, not not the original intuitions. Third, development of, of logical analysis continued to use such names as Church, Montague, Chichi, while the Frank Van Kleinian school uh, constructed, construed the, the uh, yeah, it was uh, systematic, systematic doubt yeah, about the fundaments uh, of uh, logic. So with, uh, we can say that uh, we can construe uh, some very sophisticated systems, axiomatic systems, yeah, as some kind of non-classical logic. That, uh, but as soon as we 
refused this representational the representationalism as uh, this uh, people do a form sense inferential system inferentialism see peregrine's uh, monography eh? and uh, 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 and we work uh, we can uh, imagine a no logical system which explication would be uh, permitted because every explication we have seen it uh, is uh, connected with some surrogates and after all we, we if we compare the situation with logic with the situation with the modern physics for instance we see that uh, the physic physicalist uh, or the, 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 the notions of physics uh, cannot be understood when we uh, when we refuse that there is something which corresponds to this notion. Yeah. So this representationism is, is, uh, is good. And finally, this the last objection to Quine's, Quine's uh, theory, theories, uh, it uh, consists in the following. Uh, this, um, for Quine, it holds, and not only for Klein, for this group, uh, that uh, the, what is determined and, uh, or meaning and so on are determined by, by the language itself. Yeah? There is no, no discovering some abstract, abstract, uh, in abstract identities and so on, but language itself does it. But the, uh, this uh, it's uh, something which uh, the Frege and Russell did not, because such systems, uh, which uh, are characteristic for these final schools, yeah, forget that the, the principle that the subject matter of a discipline is uh, given prior to axiomatization. You, uh, you never begin in this school uh, with uh, a logical analysis of uh, the of the uh, expression uh, of natural energy, but there is always some uh, axiomatic system. And I don't say that it's a, it's a, it's a meaningless. Some sometimes we get interest, interesting uh, results, but as a as a, a uh, result uh, of uh, his theories, to say that uh, such to seek in such such uh, formal axiomatizations do solve these semantic problems, I think that it is not good. So it was my uh, interpretation of some critical points. And uh, I apologize that uh, uh, my uh, way of, uh, of offering this uh, critique was not very good. And they, that they have some problems with reading and so on. So take apologies, yes. So we'd say that we can say that it's end. Oh. There is no, ah, yes, yes, fine, fine.